Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our 2013 to 2018 JK seat covers. So, you're going to remove the four bolts holding the bottom of the bench to the floorboard. First step is going to be to pull off the headrest. Inside the headrest, there's two little pressure clips. So all you need to do is just kind of work down with your thumbs and basically push in, find them, and pop the headrest off. So we're going to start first on the small 40 side section of the bench. First with the bottom cover and then with the top cover. A little bit different from the front seats, we actually did Velcro all around. So you're basically going to place the cover over the top and then pull each flap down and attach it with Velcro along the sides and bottom of the seat here. So take the smaller side bottom cover, kind of place it around the seat. There is a slot here that is made for the car seat anchor. And then kind of work around, pull tight, and kind of push this bell crown down. So we're gonna pull off all these protective strips, opening up the sticky side of the Velcro, and then work your way around the seat, attaching all of that to the stock cover. On the outside arm, you're gonna find the zipper, make sure it's opened all the way, and then slide it over and slide it down. Then, down on the bottom, you're gonna feed these flaps through the back of the seat. On the side, you're gonna zip up the zipper and tuck the excess down between the plastic and the seat. And then on the back, you're gonna attach the Velcro strips coming from the front and back on the bottom of the seat. Kind of start on one corner and then use a screwdriver to push the material underneath the plastic. Now we're going to start on the 60 side of the bench. Uh, just like the other side, we're going to start by removing the two bolts holding the bottom of the bench to the floor. Now we're going to throw the bottom cover on, push the flaps through the center of the seat underneath the seat belts, work the cover around the rest of the seat and pull it tight. Once you've got the cover situated, start to pull off the protective fleece and attach the Velcro to the bottom of the stock seat. Once the cover is tight and you're happy with it, you're gonna reattach the two bolts to the floor. Now we're gonna start working on the top cover. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go to the back and remove this bolt holding the center seat belt. Take this seat belt tab, heat it through the center and back to the front of the seat. Make sure all these slots are lined up with the headrest and that all these zipper portions are open. You're gonna take the seatbelt tab, make sure it runs through the slot in the top of the cover and then leave it loose on the front. Once you've done that, you can zip up the center zipper. Then you're gonna push this flap through the center of the seat. There's another slot right here for another child anchor that is attached to the top of the seat right in the center right there. To make sure that child anchor feeds through this slot. Make sure all the stitching lines are matching up. Then close up the zipper on the end and tuck the excess back underneath the seat. Then you're gonna move the fleece strips on the Velcro and attach these two pieces together. Just like on the other side, you're gonna use a screwdriver to push all the material underneath the release handle. Once again, kind of work your way around, work out the material, make sure it's laying flat and you can reattach the Velcro on the back to make sure it's really tight. Once that's all done and you're happy with the look of the seat, take this tab for the seat belt 
feed it back underneath the seat again and attach it to the bolt on the back. Now all that's left to do is the headrest. Just a reminder that the headrest in the rear should have a little bit wider flaps than the ones in the front and that the PRP rubber patch should go on the back of the headrest. Then on the bottom, connect both side flaps first, then connect the top and bottom flaps. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email sales at prpseats.com.